In this 5 minute video tutorial I'll explain how to instrument an application in Ctest and how to use native ID. I have here an Android phone connected to Ctest and um, I'm going to show you now how to use native to create a script for this. So I go to the application manager and clicking on one of the um, applications I can instrument and launch it. The same can actually be done through the uh, commands. Usually every application can be instrumented through the application manager however there are some exceptions and then there is a manual process that the programmer has to do. Okay, once the application has been launched and um, instrumented, we can actually um, go to the uh, application screen and click on the object spy. The object spy then will identify the different objects that appear including their native ID properties. So you see here that when I um, click on one of these red rectangulars that identifies a native object, I can get all of its properties. It's uh, native ID, text, class, and so forth. Okay, now in order to use the, the um, native identification, there are two um, methods to uh, relate to an object and we'll show them shortly. First I set the device to be the Android device. Then the first method I will show you I will be um, uh, first I will launch the the application so you see here that the um, instrument is, is true and this will launch the application so this is a command that launches the uh, IMDB application and now when I um, go to the search button I click on that when I right click on it I can create a new object and then I have um, the option to give it a uh, customized name, here I called it search, and I can define three ways by which it is identified, image, text, or native. In the native I have the different methods of native that it can be identified, here it's the ID and I put the value that I had from the object spy, and by the image recognition. So now this same search button can be identified by both its native ID and the image recognition. This means that if any one of these two changes it will still be identified by the other. So if the image changes it will still be identified by the native ID and if by accident the native ID um, has been changed it will still be identified by the image. So if we play it now we can uh, see that the IMDB application has been launched and now we see that the search button has been clicked upon and a, uh, a search text box has opened. If we look on the execution report of Ctest we can see these uh, different steps of the execution of the test. Okay, now uh, we would like to send a certain text into the text field and I can identify this text field um, again by uh, native so if I right click on that I can see the uh, native ID text and class and um, I can basically refer to that now instead of creating a uh, object out of this there is a second way in C test to refer to a uh, native object so I basically uh, selected here the send text command Uh, sorry, the element set in text command and now I um, select in the zone native which means that I'm going to send um, text to a element which will be identified by its native properties and um, I put in the element the native property that the uh, object spy has uh, provided me and I put in the text that I want to send into that um, text box Okay, so um, now if uh, uh, we go back and play the test, we see that the IMDB application again is being launched. And we see that the search icon has been clicked upon and Spider-Man has been sent into the text box which has been recognized by its native ID. So we see these 
two ways of identifying and using native 